Here we go again with another good episode of The Flash Season 7. And it, like I said, it was a good episode, but I have to say for the most part, it was actually pretty uneventful. Like, we don't really have that much to talk about, uh, but, you know, we're still going to break it down. I do feel like it's going to be a shorter video, but there is some stuff to talk about. This is, of course, the sixth episode of The Flash Season 7, titled The One with the 90s. And... Yeah, th this was a good episode. It, it was all about the still force, introducing the last force here, the force of nature. And we got some cool time travel elements here, definitely reminiscent of DC's Legend of Tomorrow. Would have been awesome if we got like some sort of cameo or something. Uh, but basically, we start off this episode where all of a sudden these things from different time periods are now all of a sudden in Central City. Like you got a Roman gladiator and you got... Um, what I assume is probably the Titanic or some other kind of boat, and you even got a dinosaur up in there, which honestly the, the CGI was pretty good on, if I'm being honest. So that was pretty cool. But really the highlight of this episode is Team Chesco. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Chester and Cisco. I love their relationship. I remember last season when Chester was introduced and everybody was worried that, oh, he's going to replace Cisco because they're like the same character. But no, they're like best friends. Like Team Chesco is awesome. I, I love their dynamic in this episode. And they start off by they're making these amplifiers to be, be able to actually detect the forces of nature. Whether that's Fuerza or Psych or this new one. So when they're testing it out, all of a sudden this green wave of energy whooshes over them. And as Cisco says, they've been under the domed. And... It's kind of kind of like full on WandaVision, like they've entered the hex now, and turns out they actually have now time traveled, and it's now 1998. Uh, so the Still Force did that; they figured that out. Uh, so they know that they have to figure out who this Still Force user is, and they got to figure out a way to stop them. So of course they're going undercover. Team Chesco goes. Full on 90s mode, which was awesome to see. I mean, the clothes from the 90s are ridiculous, but like the colors are so bright and stuff, but it was awesome to see. And then they run into this guy named Parker, and then all of a sudden time resets, and now all of a sudden Cisco is like seven year old seven years old, like trapped in his however, like 20, th like 30 something year old body. Uh, and it was kind of weird, but then he gets reset, and then uh, we do get some stuff with Chester actually meeting his father. It's kind of a classic thing when you go back in time and like you meet your parents or something before you were born, and they don't know that you're actually their future child. It's kind of that classic cliche story, uh, but it was cool seeing that with Chester because we haven't really gotten any developments on who this character really is, so I did like like seeing that here in this episode. Um, but then eventually they run into Dion, the still force user, and he turns the whole city 90s mode. We got Iris with an afro. We got, uh, Caitlin looking like Peggy Carter from Captain America, the first Avenger. You got, uh, Frost has gone full on hippie mode. Joe is looking like a gangster, full on gangster mode up in here. Uh, so now it is up to Team Chesco to take down Dion, and Cisco was even using these crazy powers. I'm I'm not sure if that was like part of this whole Still Force thing. It was kind of a, little, a lot of things in this episode were confusing, but at some point you kind of just gotta roll with it and just pretend that things make sense. Uh, and eventually Chester does convince Dion to stop. But then he says, like, oh, yeah, I have control of my future, but I also have control of everybody else's future. And then he disappears. So that means that he's going to show up again somewhere down the line. Um, Fuerza and Psyche probably will as well. At the end of the season, we'll probably get this big uh, forces of nature battle. So that's going to be pretty cool. But it leaves the door open for him to return, and he has a motive to strike back and again that was kind of like the main storyline and plot line of the episode we did have some stuff between iris and nora there wasn't really any big revelations there nothing really going on i mean you get the developing of their relationship which was cool uh but then once the day is saved barry is now out of the cryo chamber 
and Cisco, of course, going back to classic Cisco here, he names the different forces of nature. And these are this is something we already knew because of how it is in the comics. But we have, of course, the speed force, the strength. Well, the speed force is Nora, Nora Allen, or at least the avatar of the speed force is Nora. The strength force is Fuerza. The sage force was Psyche. And now the still force was Dion. So now they're all aware of all the different forces of nature and they have these ampl amplifiers to detect them. So they're going to be co going after Nora and trying to take her down, but now they have a way to kind of protect her. So that's definitely good. And then Nora decides to stick around. It looks like from based off the promo from next episode, she's going to be having a big role and things are going to get interesting. But other than that, not really anything happened. Uh, our ending scene of the episode was with uh, Joe and Frost, and Joe was telling Frost about how that lady is there to and looking for Killer Frost, and she's like, all right, bring it on. And then that was it. So, again, it was a good episode. I enjoyed the concept of this whole Team Chesco going back to the 90s and everything. But, again, not really anything huge happened to propel the story forward it did kind of feel like a filler episode even though it it is pertaining to the main storyline but i did still enjoy it for the most part so anyways guys let me know in the comments below what did you think about this episode of the flash did you enjoy this concept what were your favorite parts what are your opinions on team chesco so anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything that goes on in the DC life.